Hello, my name is Abadi De Silva, and I live in Nashville, Tennessee. My brother Akila De Silva and I were a part of the Waffle House mass shooting that took place in Antioch on April 22nd, 2018. A man with an AR-15 walked into the Waffle House, and my brother Akila's life was snatched by a man that should have had possession of a gun. A monster that knew nothing about my brother, and a loving person my brother was. How Akilah spoke against violence, but yet his life was taken with an AR-15. Akilah wanted to live life, and we all will, we will not allow his life to fade away. We will honor him with action, always, because his life matters, his legacy matters, his message matters, his dream matters. Akilah was a br brilliant computer engineer with a mission. Akilah was not silent because I am his voice. The aftermath of a mass shooting is understandably most focused on the physical injuries and loss, but also there is a physical, psychological pain and trauma that comes from experiencing such a traumatic experience that stays with survivors. I have helped my brother and ultimately watched him die. I have tried everything in my power to help my brother Akilah, but yet felt helpless. I live with that entire experience every day. I live with that survivor's guilt every day. I am living with the trauma of that night and still ask why my brother. Every crowd, every event, every shooting re-traumatizes you and relive the moment that is now your reality. Gun violence is a health epidemic that destroys lives, causes family everlasting pain. My brother suffered at the hands of evil, but we would never give up fighting to keep his legacy alive. We will never give up fighting for change. We will never give up on fighting to save lives. We will never give up fighting to prevent another man or mother from having to bury her child, another family to, from grieving for the rest of their lives. If we require seat belts to avoid auto fatalities, we can also require safety storage for firearms. If we require license to operate an automobile, then we should require license and training to operate a firearm. You are not legally allowed to purchase or consume alcohol at 18 years old. So why are we legally allowed to purchase a gun at the age of 18? We need background checks to purchase and own a gun. We need safe and sensible gun laws to protect us from. We need more than thoughts and prayers. We need action because faith without works is dead. While gun violence is a political issue for politicians, people are dying. Children are being murdered and nothing is being done. There's reality for me and my family and many other families. For mothers and their children that were murdered by gun violence. There have been several mass shootings since the Buffalo mass shooting. Fear of sending your children to school is a reality and a way of life. It took 26 years for Congress to take baby steps to save our lives from gun violence. We must help our politicians accountable. We must make sure they're doing their job they were elected to do, or we must vote them out. We must fight for change. We must fight to protect our families. Children are being murdered. We must not become numb to gun violence because it's not normal and shouldn't be treated as such. We demand change. We demand change now. Thank you.